All right, so before I get too far, this is not a how you can improve your gas mileage uh, video. This is more about me asking for maybe uh, some suggestions or explanations as to, as to how I'm getting uh, better gas mileage. All right, so that's what I'm showing as far as distance, which is actually about 150 something. I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, miles that I've driven, and that is where my tank gauge is right now. All right, so I just hit 200, which is about actually 190, and that is where my fuel gauge is right now. So my exit's actually coming up. I'm going to get off and get gas right at the exit, which is going to kill me because it costs more. But I really want to know um, how much this is going to take uh, with just all highway miles. So that's what I ended up with when I hit the gas station. That's what the fuel gauge looks like full. And let's see that. Yeah, that's what I was able to squeeze in uh, without worrying about uh, fuel backing up into the airline. All right, so that was actually the absolute best mileage I've ever gotten out of this Jeep. And uh, when I started filming this, I was doing it because I was averaging between 16 and 17. I just averaged 18.6, and I really don't understand why. Um, I'm gonna get into all the details and the specs here in this video. Maybe someone can explain it. Um, but uh, so I got 204 miles showing on this point one. I multiply that by 0.95 because that's how much my uh, speedometer is off. I'll get into that in a few minutes. And uh, then I divided that by, it says 10.378, but I said 10.4, and I get 18.6 or thereabouts. So really confused. I'm happy about it, but it's, it's rather confusing. So let me uh, get into the details um, as to everything that I've done to the Jeep um, as far as uh, loading this thing up, uh, the changes that I've made over the past year, but it wasn't until the past two weeks when I really got on the road after I'd loaded this thing down that I started seeing this improved gas mileage. So it's really bizarre to me. Um, so to start with, like I said, it just started happening in the last couple of weeks uh, when, I, when I loaded this thing up for overlanding. So to give you some specs uh, as far as weight, um, I've added about 200 pounds to the roof. Uh, I'm not counting the uh, high lift that I have up there because I always carry that around. Um, so I've got about 200 pounds up there. I've got just alone inside probably 50 to 60 pounds sitting in the footwell of the driver or the passenger seat of tools and uh, recovery gear. And then I've got, you know, clothes, I've got extra water and a bunch of other stuff in the back and throughout the vehicle. And I, I would say yeah, it's easily an extra 200 pounds maybe. So just that uh, all of that uh, 400 plus pounds I've added to this vehicle um, when I started overlanding um, so to give you a comparison I was estimating on that same trip about 15 miles per gallon um, if I was lucky and I'll talk about my driving habits as well but that's on the same stretch of road of 81 and then uh, connecting to 76 I think it is from Virginia all the way up to Pennsylvania so it's a hilly road with lots of elevation changes and I was still getting that kind of gas mileage um, I've driven that I've driven thousands and thousands of miles on that stretch and that's why I'm always calculating my mileage on that stretch because it's the only area that I can really fill up, get on the highway, fill up again, getting off the highway, and uh, know what my highway mileage is. Um, and it doesn't matter where I do that on that stretch of road. It's pretty consistent and, and pretty much always the same. So I'm not comparing it to like the mountains of Virginia or going through the mountainous area of Virginia to say like going through 40 and the panhandle of Texas. This is the same comparison on the same stretch of road that I've been doing for years and years. And uh, since I've had this Jeep, I've been doing that. So um, I've had to make that trip twice now in the past two weeks and, and I was calculating it back then which was improved and then I calculated it again just now and it's even better so talk about my driving habits um, I'm pretty conservative uh, especially in this Jeep 
I'm not real concerned about gas mileage. I am now a little bit more because I, I quit my job. But, you know, on the back of my vehicle, it's, I have a sticker that says life is about more than gas mileage. So um, I'm happy that it's better, but it, it's not the end all be all. Um, so I am very conservative, probably more conservative since I started overlanding because I have all the, the weight on top and the additional uh, stuff inside. But I, I tend to drive in the right hand lane. I mostly drive at the speed limit or even below i'll follow a group of slow vehicles i'll follow trucks at a safe distance rvs slower other vehicles and uh, even going uphill i i don't often uh, even unless the trucks are going really really slow while i pass somebody going uphill so i'm usually going around the speed limit or even 10 10 miles below the speed limit um, as long as there's other traffic that's also going slow if i'm my own on my own i'm at least doing the speed limit Going uphill, uh, following trucks and RVs and stuff, sometimes I won't even break 15 to 1700 RPMs, um, and I'll actually be able to increase slightly my speed without breaking 2000 RPMs um, if I feather it out. So, uh, like I said, I'm not real aggressive, so I'm not pounding on the gas. Um, I'm not guzzling the gas while I'm going uphill or even on the straightaways. Uh, so it, it is conservative driving, and I know that does help out a lot when it comes to gas mileage, but it shouldn't be an improvement over uh, adding all this weight to. So with that, uh, the mechanical stuff. I have not changed my spark plugs, my distributor cap, my plug wires in over a year, so all that's been on there for a year. About five, four to five months ago, I did upgrade from one hole to four hole uh, injectors. I didn't see any improvement from that. Um, I really was hoping that I would, but but I didn't. I always watch my gas mileage. I'm just curious. And I, I saw nothing out of that. And then about a month ago, I added the uh, the special sea foam that you uh, put into the air intake. Uh, you empty the whole can into the air intake while the vehicle's running, and then you go through a cycle. Um, and it's supposed to clean everything out in the engine. Um, I didn't get a whole lot. It, I didn't get any smoke out of the exhaust by doing that. And again, I saw virtually no improvement in my gas mileage after I've done that over a month ago. Um, again, all this has happened over the past couple of weeks that I've seen this. Uh, and then the only thing that I've done in the last couple of weeks to two to four weeks is I got new tires, which were the exact same ones that I had and, and the tread wasn't bad on the other ones. Um, I'll talk about uh, the way the vehicle's set up here in a second. Uh, I did change my uh, ball joints in the last couple of weeks. I put in new motor mounts as well as a transmission mount in the past couple of weeks. And other than that, I have not made any changes to this vehicle that I can think of. So I'm riding on a, a four and a half inch short arm lift. Um, it's less than four and a half in the back. I'm kind of squatting because of all the extra weight. It was already starting to settle before that. So uh, I'm going to need new leaf springs probably by the end of this trip, I would think. Um, I'm on uh, 33 inch, 12 and a half inch tires. So big tires, high lift, and I'm still getting that kind of gas mileage. Um, have not re-geared. I'm still running 3.55. Uh, I'm not going to touch that. It's something that I'm not even going to consider it just hasn't bothered me and it hasn't given me any troubles so uh that's that's the setup on this and something else to mention and why i kept saying that uh, what was showing on my uh gauge was not what i'm running because at one time i was running a 16 percent difference between real uh distance and what my gauge was showing and i got a new uh speedometer um i forget what you call that thing but a, but a little gear thing that in a jeep cherokee or most jeeps um older ones you can just change that gear and it's really easy to do so I changed it to something that was more close to what I was actually driving and now that puts me at a 5% difference over um, so it shows like 105 on my um, gauge and it's actually a hundred and over the past couple of months I've, I've checked that out uh, I've run on straight you know distances using my GPS, using but Waze, using... All of them put me at about 100 or 5% off. So when I'm at 100 miles or 105 miles on my gauge, I've actually only driven 100 miles. Um, 
So I've, I've done that calculation a few times to make sure that I was right there. So that's why I adjusted everything by 0.95 compared to what was really showing on here because I know that I'm off and I'm, and I'm making that calculation adjustment to do that. So I think that's everything. Um, the weather conditions, it was uh, a bit windy actually. It's, it's very breezy out. Um, and that was both in Virginia when I filled up and then here in Pennsylvania when I filled up. So, uh, and I'm looking at the trees now. I mean, it's the, the wind's moving pretty good right now. So I, maybe, maybe I had a tailwind. That's a possibility too. I didn't really check which way the wind was blowing. That could have explained the, the difference in 16 plus to, to over 18 plus. Um, so that, that could be a factor too. But still, um, to go from 15 miles per gallon on a regular daily driver uh, vehicle where I've still got a lot of extra weight because of all the things I've added to this thing to adding all that weight for overlanding and still seeing a vast improvement um, is a little bit baffling to me. I do have uh, up top and I'll show a picture of it real quick. Um, I made an air deflector out of a, a, a pallet, well an, an air cargo skid plate. That was just to make it a little bit aerodynamic, um, but I wasn't expecting a whole lot out of that. And then that's also there to protect the gas cans that are right behind that from flying rocks or anything like that puncturing the gas cans. So that's, that's the reason why that's there. It was only supposed to help a little bit aerodynamically because uh, I do have a lot of boxy things up there and I knew that I'd be just pushing more air uh, because of that. So I think that's everything. I think I've mentioned everything that would come into play when it comes to, to this vehicle, the specs of the vehicle, what I've done to it. And uh, I only use 87 gas. Um, every now and then, and I keep forgetting, so it's only like once a month, I'll add Marvel oil to the gas tank, and then I'll also, or uh, uh, sea foam. So I'm not really doing anything to the gas. I'm not using any special gas. I haven't changed that. That's not a, an, a factor, I don't think, in this. So if I've left anything out, you have any questions, please uh, definitely let me know. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll take it as long as I can keep getting this good gas mileage, uh, around town. Um, I'm still averaging, you know, 13, 14. I just got off the trails. I'd filled up right before I got on, well, slower roads, slower, uh, paved roads, and then a lot of dirt trails. And, um, when I filled up after that, I had just over 10. So even going out on trails and mixing it up with slower uh, roads where I've got a lot of hairpin turns and stuff like that. And I just went up into the mountains of uh, Jefferson National Forest, and, and that was a pretty steep incline. I still averaged uh, about 10, uh, I would say, uh, after all that. So anyway, that's what it is. Um, interested to hear your feedback. I know there's going to be some people out there that say you're full of crap. Um, hey, I I've got no reason to lie about this. Um, just I'm even asking because uh, I don't understand. Um, but like I said, I'll take it as long as it lasts. Uh, every every last dollar and every last drop of gas counts at this point in time uh, with not having the job. So uh, it's a great time for this to happen. But anyway, feel free, uh, leave your comments below, uh, suggestions, uh, I'll, I'll read them all. And uh, like, subscribe, and, and follow me on my adventure. So thanks for watching.